This is a shirt made out of sneakers that I found on Pinterest. It's so unrealistic and chaotic that I had to get one. But when I went to the website, I found something even better. An entire dress made out of sneakers. I'm trying to put this thing on and so far the most unrealistic thing about it is that it's a one size. So I don't know how this is gonna go. Oh my goodness, it's on. So this was $875. If each of these sneakers was $100, I mean, you can kind of see where that price comes in. Is it realistic functionally? Absolutely not. But I feel like it's exactly what was advertised and I think it's really cool. We've got a whole bunch more Pinterest products to try that I've seen on my feed that just seem too good to be true. Everything from home products to gowns and next up, these fluffy sunglasses that my Pinterest feed served me as seen on the Kim Kardashian. Although I did some digging and Kim's were over a thousand dollars. These ones that are attached to the pin though, $16.99. Wait, I kind of love them. Okay, they're so cheap, but they're really fun. Lee, you want to try them on? You, oh, he ate some. <laughs> You can totally see that it's just fluffy fabric, super glued on. Honestly, what's the difference? What is the difference between this and a thousand dollar version? Nobody knows. You know what I need to do is recreate Kim's pictures. So here's the original picture versus my recreation. I posted these on my Instagram and I wanted to see how you guys would react. And here are some of my favorite comments. When the tech goes a little too hard on your lash fill. Elmo gone emo. <laughs> this one's so dark, a blind cat woman. <laughs> you guys are funny. Does anybody else remember the movie Tron Legacy? Like I couldn't tell you what the plot was, but I do remember all the pretty glowing things. These glasses look straight out of Tron and they're cool, but do you know what's cooler? They're only $18. Are they gonna work? Are they actually gonna look like this? Are they gonna change color? Cause that price seems unrealistic. Here they are. The packaging claims that it color changes. What, they're clear? Oh, that's satisfying. Wait, these are so fun. High tech, modern, cool science goggles. <gasps> Whoa, I love these. They serve no realistic function. $18.99 well spent. Here, try them. <laughs> I get advertised a lot of fingernails on Pinterest, specifically these like really, really detailed handmade ones. And I have to know, are they actually this intricate when you buy them? Are they really this long? And if so, how do you even function with these things on? So I ordered a few. Hey, here they are. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for these. The first ones that I got are the ultra long ones. Wow, they're so cool. <laughs> Okay, they're not that much longer than the nails I actually have on. Okay, I also got these ones. Look how fun they are with the silver drips. And finally, these. They literally sculpted these tiny bows on there. Welcome to Hope's Nail Salon. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so long. I feel like Cardi B. Lee, what do you think of it? Yeah, can you even text with that? <laughs> They look cool. Honestly, the most unrealistic about these so far are these glue dots. Like there's no way these are gonna hold these nails on long-term. So My long. pinky is so little, so. <laughs> I love them. They're actually so cool. Anna's gonna go through her work day and we're gonna see how many of them fall off. We'll check back by the end of the video. You know I love a good glowing item and look at these. They're hangers that are made to look like neon signs. And when I saw them, I thought $27 for all of these? It was unrealistic because that's not true. It's actually $27 for just one of them. Here it is. <laughs> it's so light. Wow. There it is. Oh, this is going to be so fun. Okay, it is interesting that you have to plug it in. I do wish it was like battery powered or something. Three, two, one. Ooh, I love it. Okay, now we have to put a piece of glowing clothing on the glowing hanger. <laughs> the glowing hanger kind of overpowers the glowing jacket, but how fun is that? Okay, I think the only unrealistic thing about this one is that you have to plug it in. Other than that, I love it. <gasps> Wait, you already lost one? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? <laughs> the pinky. 
what were you doing? Try to put the, this hand on. I do a lot of online shopping, but I have to say, I've never had like an emotional response to a piece of furniture until this couch. Look at it. It's like a pool floaty got into an accident with a restoration hardware bed frame, and I love everything about it. <laughs> this thing is unrealistically priced. This is almost a thousand dollars for what I'm pretty sure is just literally plastic and air. But you know, when you find that thing that just keeps you up at night, that's what this chair was for me, so we got it. Okay, this one is gonna have a little bit of assembly required. So I found this on a website called Perry Gold. But the weird thing is on the shipping label, it says it came from Wayfair. Sus. Very sus. But if we like this, they actually make an entire furniture set that matches this couch. It's like a really expensive collect them all situation. Let's open it. Yay! Oh, it's so vibrant. Oh, it comes with an air pump? Gosh, I'm so grateful. This is awesome. Oh, this is kind of complex. I literally thought it would be like base, pool floaty, stick them together. No. Help! This couch took a team of four of us about 30 minutes to set up. Not the easiest thing ever. Look at it! I did it! Yay! Oh my goodness! <laughs> It's a really unsatisfying sound. <laughs> it's an absolute crime that they made me pay a thousand dollars, but it's cute. Is Leo immediately gonna pop this? He hates it. <laughs> all of this Pinterest furniture is going in my super secret room that I film all of my super secret second channel videos on. So if you wanna see the room when it's all finished, you can check it out over there. This LED wavy mirror, are you kidding me? Okay, this looks like one of those things that the really pretty talented girls on TikTok DIY, but couldn't be me. So instead I'm gonna pay uh, for $400 for this one. <laughs> kind of mixed reviews on this. Literally, it's either one star or five star. There's no in between. But it looks stunning in these photos, so we're gonna give it a go. Okay. How do I open this thing? I think you need a drill. A drill? Oh, this is so cool. Lee. <laughs> Three, two, one. <gasps> It's so cool. Okay, and then I think we can change the colors. Oh my goodness. It's so well done. The lights on the back, how like flat they are with the mirror. I don't know what the person in the negative review was talking about because this is stunning. Look at this thing. <laughs> Next up is this ghost table. <laughs> it's from a website called Horn and it is $479. Once again, I know that price is so unrealistic for literal plastic, but like this is a work of art. <gasps> Wait, what? This is not what I was expecting. It's not actually clear. No, I think that's, I think it's uh, plastic. Oh, what? Oh wait, you're right, you're right. It literally is a ghost table. It's like a good conversation piece when people come over because they'll like see it out of the corner of their eye. <laughs> this was painfully expensive, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm really, really happy with it. <laughs> this makes such a fun addition to this room and I think it's done, at least for now, until I think of more things to add to it. UV vinyl melting skirt. I mean, it's completely unrealistic to wear because it's totally see-through. And I'm so interested to see how like the mechanics of it work. Like, are there wires? Is there a battery pack? How is this thing glowing like this. Oh. Wow. Oh my gosh, this is such like a Coachella moment. Okay, I'm still so confused how this actually turns on though. Wait, does it not turn on? Does it just glow in the dark? Why did I think it was like LED? I don't think it is. It's so cute. Such a fun design. Okay, let's go in the dark and see if it glows or something. Come on. Nothing's happening. I'm so confused. Did I just get scammed? Blue light. You're gonna be so sad if this doesn't work. Maybe that's all that happens, is it glows in UV light. Like, that's not what it looks like in the pictures, but it's cool. Picture reality. <laughs> okay, clearly my Pinterest feed has caught on to my love for anything with lights. So next up we have the woolly faux fur coat and it lights up. Tell me this is not the coolest party trick though. Like you show up like this and then boom, the lights turn off and suddenly you're wearing this. And it's $79, which actually isn't that unrealistic because the last glowing jacket that I got was like $400, so a deal. 
<laughs> Here it is. It's a lot smaller than I was expecting. And I think this was the biggest size they had. It looks like the picture though. Okay, let's turn it on. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so cool. Okay, we have to go somewhere dark though. <laughs> Come with me. <gasps> this is so cool. This literally might be my favorite light up thing yet. Exactly as advertised, 10 out of 10. Purple high low prom dress. That is definitely giving Ariana Grande 2020 Grammy vibes. We've got two pictures. I can't tell for sure if they're their pictures or not. This one could go either way for me, you know? I think this is gonna be bad. <laughs> Whoa. So the picture looks like a whole bunch of tool. I'm not seeing any tool like fabric on this. Oh wait, maybe it's just inside out. Maybe it's gonna be okay. <gasps> wait, it's just inside out. I spoke too soon. Wait, I think this might be legit. I mean, we need to do up the back, but. Wow, beautiful. Oh my gosh, this is cute. Look at this. Okay, so I think it's obvious that this is a recreation, but I would say they did a pretty good job. It's definitely missing a few layers, like along the bottom, and then even on the top of the skirt. This is not bad. Like I could totally see somebody wearing this to prom. I have been getting advertised this website on every single platform, Pinterest, TikTok, Instagram, and today's the day we finally try it. They're from this brand called Mina Fashion, and I do believe that these are very legit original designs, and a lot of that is to do with the price. These are not cheap. What I do find interesting about these gowns, they're beautiful, but they all have this very unrealistically dramatic shape to them. And most of the time they're just pictured on these very snatched mannequins. <laughs> like I haven't seen a whole lot of stuff from them that's on an actual human. So is this an illusion or will this dress actually make me look like this? Okay, Mina, don't let me down. Okay, the box is beautiful. We're off to a good start. Are you ready to see the one I picked? Oh my goodness, look at that color. This is gonna be so cool. Okay, here's how it was advertised on their BBL mannequin. <laughs> Here's what it looks like in real life. So already you can see the waist is not quite as emphasized, which is good because I don't think that version would fit me very well, but I'm so excited to put this on. Ah! Okay, this dress was $1,250. So dresses are very much a you get what you pay for type situation, I think. Are you ready for this one though? Look at it. <gasps> This is such a cool dress. This might be one of my favorites we've ever gotten on this channel. I love this like overskirt. I feel like a very pink super villain in this dress. <laughs> I've had a lot of bad experiences with gowns that I've bought from the internet, but I have to say this was a positive experience. The pattern that the sequins are in and the quality of the silky fabric, it's all so unbelievably well done. And I think it looks so cool with my hair color too. <laughs> okay, end of the day, final result. Oh, almost half of them fell off. <laughs> Five survivors. Okay, so they're not really realistic for everyday use. Make sure to go binge watch all of our other unrealistic Pinterest hauls if you haven't seen those yet. Enjoy the next video.